cryptocurrencies are absolutely hot again. And coins like Bank have delivered people generational wealth in the span of just a few weeks. And ladies and gentlemen, I seriously believe that you will be able to do amazing with crypto if you just know how. And so in this video, I'll be preparing you guys for the next video that's coming up on how to make crazy amounts of money in crypto. And all I ask from you is one thing. Make sure you press that like button. And actually a second, <laughs> I have to admit, is make sure you tune in for the next video because it's about to blow your mind. I've got a couple of bangers ready because I know it's not that hard to make life-changing money in crypto if you've got the right guidance. And so what we are about to do in this video is steam you guys, get you ready to understand the different parts and things you need to set up right now to be able to turn $1,000 into $10,000 or whatever, or turn $1,000 into $80,000 over the next year or so. But you have to do these things that I'm about to talk about in this video. Now let's freaking go. First of all, our next video is going to be about what I would do if I only had $1,000 and I wanted to make a crypto portfolio to turn into $100,000 over the next two years. But after multiple discussions with some of the viewers, I noticed that you need a couple of fundamentals in order to be able to make these gains. One of which is knowing where to buy these very cheap coins. Because you've got to understand, this coin just did a 1,000% gain in about a month, 25,000% gains this year, and a lot more if you consider just the last few months. But it's only quite recently that it got listed on very popular crypto exchanges like Binance or Coinbase. And on this channel, I always tell you guys about my own personal favorite crypto exchange, which is called Bybit. And even right now, I made it so that every single person that signs up can get a $500 free bond trade because bond is so crazy right now or an XRP trade or a Bitcoin trade. Just check the link down below. But you've got to understand that this is a centralized exchange. There's a very big difference between a centralized exchange and something like a DEX. What the difference is, is that anybody, just anybody, can launch a token or a new thing they thought of on a decentralized exchange. You don't really need permission for that. You can just make it. You can just get it going. For a centralized exchange, you need to obviously discuss with the company. So with Uphold, with Bybit, with Coinbase. And that requires these projects to either have proper backing or have significant sums of money or interest and hype already. And the thing there is, if you want to catch these gems, which are very little, here's a couple things you should probably do right now. Step number one, get yourself a MetaMask. If you do not know how, Google it, YouTube it, get yourself a decentralized wallet away from these main exchanges. Step number one, it's a very simple step as you get further into it. It might be hard for you now to understand the safety of these things, but it will grow on you. And I always recommend if you've made that wallet and you're asking, hmm, how do I get money on there? Google it, you will figure it out. It's very simple, but it's an essential step in understanding how to actually use crypto more than just only speculating on the price on an exchange. To actually use it, I think, is a critical step in making life-changing gains that are not fully based on luck. Because you can be lucky. Just buying a coin on an exchange and it goes up 10,000% can happen. But if you really are willing to search for it more, try harder, and increase your chances, this is something you need to do. And there comes step number two, which is understand a little bit of how a decentralized exchange works. And I'm not saying you have to go read up all about the intricate parts of pooling and how all these ratios actually operate. No, it's more so that if you go to a decentralized exchange like SushiSwap, Uniswap, or on different chains, because this is talking about Ethereum or Polygon, um, PancakeSwap, for example, one inch, it doesn't really matter that you know how to swap. Here's, for example, an account that I put 20 ETH into. 
on my MetaMask or on a different decentralized wallet like Coinbase's wallet, Trust Wallet, they're all fine. And if I now wanted to buy a token, I just insert how much Ethereum, for example, one, uh, I want to spend on these tokens and then insert either the contract address in here or something like um, in this list right here, like uh, some blur, for example. You see the gas fee is significantly high right now because yeah, the market's up and that's why people often complain about Ethereum. But if we were to go through the swap here, again, for me, if this is like second nature. I've done this thousands upon thousands of times. And as I said, you don't need to understand the very difficult, intricate parts of the back end. You just need to understand how to swap your Ethereum or BNB or Polygon or whatever into another coin. And most importantly, how to swap the other coin back into either USDT, USDC or whatever currency or Ethereum you understand. So take some time to understand how to use a DEX, you'll thank me for it in the next couple of months. But honestly, does it look very difficult? It only gets more difficult when you're trying to buy these new launches because you might have to play around with slippage, but that's all for further advanced things. As you figure out exactly how to use this swap button and it's simple as just pressing and confirming a few times, the rest will figure itself out later. However, that's the most difficult part. There's one key detail here that you might have noticed, which is that I talked about this is if you want to increase your chances, if you want to get even more lucky. But what I always tell you is the reason I talk about platforms like Bybit so much is because they just make life a lot easier and they allow you to actually cash out back to fiat, to flat stacks in your hand. And so one thing I can highly recommend everybody to do right now is to go to a platform like Bybit, if you're not in the US that is, and KYC your account, which is basically let them know who you are. So you've got allowance to all the functionalities. And that's just in case you ever want to cash out quickly in case there's a coin that launches on there that you want to buy. And as I said, if you use the link down below, you get a free couple hundred dollar trade. And if you didn't use the link down below, but you already made an account, there's a little form here for you to fill. Just check that out. Now, those are two bases. I told you that getting into a decentralized exchange is probably the most difficult thing. I kind of lied. There's one additional step that can be quite overwhelming to a lot of people. But the thing is, I'll make a tutorial for that myself in the very near future, which is why I'm saying the decentralized exchange stuff I've made videos about in the past, but you're gonna have to figure it out because it's everywhere. It's so elementary, you'll find many tutorials. This launchpad stuff, I wanna make sure I make a guide for you myself because there are so many scammers out there. So all I'll say for right now is one of the easiest money in crypto is gonna come from cryptos that have not hit the market yet. And I keep telling you the easiest way to turn $100 into 4,000 or so, as an example, is buying a coin that's funny enough, very hard to buy. If you've only got a small chance to get in, very often that's because it's a very good deal and everybody wants in, but it works, it really does. And so what I've talked about on this channel a lot is these launchpad tokens, the system, how it works in simple terms is they have only, let's say, $100,000 worth of this token that they can let you guys buy. And you guys being either a couple hundred people, either a couple thousand people. So sometimes they do $10 a person. Sometimes they do $400 a person, but only a select few will be picked. Sometimes it's relative to how many of their token that you hold. Let's say I had a dusty launch pad, right? This means that I am helping new coins enter the crypto space and everybody that holds this dusty coin has a chance to be able to buy in early or they can buy in as much as is proportional to their token amount to the entirety of the pool. Meaning let's say all you guys in total have a thousand coins. The person that has one coin gets one one thousand of the total one hundred thousand dollars that we could have divided. Makes sense, right? And last but not least, I'll tell you one more thing. It's going to get hard. <laughs> That's what she said. In seriousness, there's a very good chance that you're gonna see crazy amounts of gains in a very short amount of time. 
And now you're left with two choices. Number one is cash out and be done with it. And the second is see a lot of the money disappear again as the market fluctuates, hoping for a better day. And the difficulty with both choices is by cashing in your profit, let's say you started with a thousand bucks and you're up a thousand bucks or $2,000. You could now cash out, you've doubled your money, but the next two weeks, that 2,000 would have been worth $1.1 million. It's happened to many people. And the question to yourself is, could you handle that? The answer should be yes, because you have got to know a little bit upfront when, um, and what prices, and how much you cash out or you'd be happy with, and stick to it. My main mission in life is to never regret things, to minimize regret. And in this crypto space where deals fall through, deal, things go quickly, you have to make really, really fast choices, that can be overwhelming and it can be hard. But if you can't master that skill, I'm warning you right now that this is gonna get really hard, especially if you see all the money you've worked for go down by 30% in a day, and it happens. Then again, in an altcoin season, in a massive bull market, it will just keep going like this, basically, over time. There's gonna be bumps in the road, but it's all worth it. Which is why I say, if you've not done it yet, make sure you press that like button. And just know, I'm rooting for you, and I'll guide everybody through this. I'm not your financial advisor, but I'll give you guys updates on exactly what I think is wise and what I'm doing. And you should use that, I think, as a basis for your own study. Of course, make your own decisions. I can't make them for you. I don't know what the best choice is for you, but I'm hoping I can point you in the right direction and you can take it from there and turn, hopefully, your life around if it's not already doing amazing. Anyway, as I said later on, I've got a couple of really cool videos coming. We've got some good tier lists coming. We've got a really interesting update on what I would do with $1,000 to turn it into 100000 <laughs> And most coins I talked about over the last couple of days and weeks are up crazy already. So if you're not making money these weeks, you're doing something wrong. And hopefully, I'll see you guys back with another crypto update later today. And that's about it.